Child Protection. The report launched by various organizations, Plan International, Child Fund, Save the Children, SOS Children's Villages International, Terror the Homes International Federation and World Vision under the Joining Forces Coalition showed high proportions of pregnancies among girls aged 15 and below in the years 2020 and 2021. Busoga Subregion led with over 900 reported cases, Toro recorded over 660 cases, and North Central Region just over 600 cases. Busoga leads again in the distribution of teenage pregnancy numbers for girls aged between 15 and 19, followed by North Central, Lango, and South Central. The brief also highlighted high levels of child marriages and pressure to get married in the COVID-19 lockdown years of 2020 and 2021. Wakiso leads in child marriages with 10,439 reported cases for the period reviewed, followed by Kampala with 8,460 cases, Kasese follows, Kamuli, Oyam and Mayuge districts. Karamoja subregion received fewer cases for both child pregnancy and child marriage, ostensibly because they went unreported. These figures demonstrate the critical urgency of the issues at stake. Committed to boosting the efforts uh, to eliminate child marriage and teenage pregnancy, the Joining Forces Coalition, represented here, is working to respond to many of the drivers of the problem. Even when the children speak and the man is not uh, adding a voice to it, it will not make a lot of sense. So we need to involve the men. Other recommendations made to eliminate harmful practices affecting children include increasing the number of probation officers and family courts, empowering family and child protection officers at police stations, sensitizing parents and minors on rights of children, empowering local council officers, and simplifying and translating child protection laws to local languages. But we all know that child marriage, forced marriage, are not criminalized directly, is it? I think people think that if your daughter is defiled by a person who is above 18, that's what the community must be thinking. If your child is defiled by a man who comes and has sex with a child, that is an offense. But if you decide as a parent to marry your child away, even if the child is below 18, that is not what? So that is the problem. We work closely with cultural institutions to to uh, spread strong messages around banning child marriage and ensuring that the cultural institutions uh, are part of enforcing that. However, all of this would be supported much more strongly with, a, with clear national legislation. Minister for Children Affairs, Sarah Mateke Nyirabashitsi, linked the prevalence of child-related challenges to poverty as an underlying problem. She said people are reluctant to engage in poverty alleviation programs. Government has put in money. We have had a now parish development model which is now coming. And it is going closer to the people at the parish level. I believe if these people can come up, the 39% and know that now we are going to organize ourselves, make groups, and these groups which will help us also benefit this, uh, from this money. I believe we can reduce on the issues of poverty. The only thing is choosing the right enterprises. The International Day for the African Child will be celebrated on Thursday in Butaleja District, which holds an accolade not to be proud of, leading with the highest number of teenage pregnancies during the lockdown. Edward Mhumza, NTV.